Hello folks, what's up? I'm Levity from XSLimit.com again on your screen, so let's go ahead to the tutorial. This time we will try to make a film burn effect. Wait, did I say try? Never mind, alright. Anyway, I got here my footage which I'll be using, some guys playing football. Alright, so let's import this on the timeline. And this is actually what we got. Now it won't be difficult. Um, basically, it's some uh, it's actually tricky this effect. But anyway, look what I have for you. I have some burn effects for you. Anyway, um, just look right here, and we got some plenty of um, of uh, footage that we made. Um, it wasn't a lot of work, but anyway, it uh, like some burn effects. You know that you could add it. On your uh, on your uh, videos, whatever video it is, and we have also fades uh, right here, and another type of fades, and let's see it. Uh, we got also even uh, cinema rolls, which also looks uh, pretty uh, pretty uh, interesting, like we have here. It's kind of shaking, and uh, it's also and we have also scratch. But you cannot see right, right difficulty. But if I add it right here, I can see it right here that I can add some, some scratchy like some um uh, for uh, old film looks, and that's also interesting. So you can download this film burn FX package on download page of Xs Limits. And well, what can I say? I have fun. But now going forward to the tutorial. Right, we got these guys right here, and I'm just going to zoom in my image because I'm having some little, little bars on the side. So, all right, this is what I got. Some guys playing football. Um, what we will try to do is making that famous film burn effects that you have seen in cowboys movies and a lot of um, you, uh, a lot of uh, people who use this effect use it on most skating videos. And that's why I get this from, and I thought on uh, maybe uh, we will need this and uh, stuff, and it would be interesting to uh, see how we could uh, get this effect on Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is not made for effects. Again, it's not made for effects; it's made for editing, and most effects are made on After Effects. So um, uh, we should have uh, tried to figure out how we make this on Premiere Pro. But I think I'm talking too much, so I'm going straight ahead to the tutorial. Right. Um, right here I got my footage. And uh, what for I'm, first I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, footage. So I'm going to copy, go into the second video track, and paste it there. So I got it now twice. So now we will start animating. We will add this known effect here, name it ramp. And uh, what we'll do is very simple. We're just going to change this black to kind of little red orange, and the white we change it to some 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 yellow, maybe a little bit light. All right, something like that. And we will blend with original a little bit, like uh, 60. So as you see here, we can we get straight uh, straight that kind of look. Now we will need to uh, to animate this ramp. So what we'll do now? Uh, right now, when I clean this box, I can see the two points right there. So I'm going just to uh, zoom out a little bit so I can see my two points. And right here, I'm just going to begin with my red, which is the start of the ramp. I'm going to start on this corner, and the yellow. I'm going to start a little bit here. All right. So now what we're going to animate is the blend to original thing so what we'll, we'll do um, also I'm going to make a little bit slow my footage because it's a ve very short uh, scene about some seconds and I'm just going to make a little bit shorter a little bit longer I mean so now I will animate the blend with original so I click the keyframe to start animating so right now here I can see that, I add, that I've added a keyframe I'm going to about one second and 
take a little bit of the light so you see now it goes a little bit off all right and now I go again one second and I put it a little bit some more something like 50 and then I go V again one second and put it again a little bit low and going at the end and tick of blowing this so kind of uh, adding 40 all right so now we got this type of animation all right now we will start animating the ramp and the points and so we will we'll set two keyframes for the start for the start and for the end of the ramp so now we go to the first second and here we will push the red a little bit in going to two seconds I'm going to change the red to this side and putting the yellow on this side which I get now a straight effect and going to three seconds and putting again the the red on the where it was and the yellow back so now I got this type of effect Alright, looks not pretty bad. Looks pretty good. Alright, this looks good. Now, what we need to do is kind of animating that is coming into the camera. Now, on Film Burn FX, the package that we have made, we can see a few fades right there. We can see one, two, and three. Let's just play them very quick. And let's see it. Alright, here is this fade number one and here we got fade number two and here we got fade number three alright maybe we're gonna use this fade number three uh, so we're gonna add it on the on the scene right here and what we're going to do is also make this a little bit slower so 50% is a little bit too fast um, you can always slow down because it's uh, six frames per second and also I'm going to increase the motion for this so right now what I want to do is put my footage this one where I have added the ramp on the white and to do that we will have to track the mat so we go to keen track mat and we add it on the footage where we added the ramp so now we can mat with the fade thing here that we have it so we're going to change the mat to video 3 and we're going to composite to luma because it's black and white and it's not alpha pre-made and now as you see here I can see the original footage and a little bit of the of the footage that where I added the RAM so now I got this type of effect so now it really looks a little bit more nice so kind of comes into the camera but as you see here my fade ends here so ends my effect and to be a little to do a little bit smooth we're going to just add another fade like this number two and just also make it to 50 percent all right so now we got this type of effect all right i'm just going to reverse this one you know it's just kind of playing with the, with the with the package 